well, guys, it seems like Juicy and Queen Ark was getting into it while they were live. And, baby, they was going back and forth and hurting each other's feelings really badly. No, no. Oh, you can shut the fuck up. You get your ass beat for a living, hoe. You can't say shit to me, bitch. You broke bomb ass, hoe. You get your ass beat for a living. You can't say shit to me, hoe. You broke. You a bomb. You eat shit, hoe. I paid you $100 for a crack ass dick, bitch. And queen, the only thing I, the only thing I ever got from you is fucking negative ass bitches. Hating ass bitches. I never got no... And, 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 I, and I'm doing the line. You, you dumb ass. And your fucking baby father oh, who shit. couldn't guess what your baby father had before. I ain't, I let my nuts drag, nigga. I'm broke. I'm bald head. My fucking stink. I ain't having STDs. And what's up? You gotta, I still wanna fuck you in the shit for that. You gotta, I ain't gotta promise no whole shit, nigga. Gotta I ain't gotta promise no whole shit, no money. And the thing about it, they was hitting so low below the belt. They even bought Ari and, and money bag, yo. In it. You trying to make Ari mad, bitch? Tell me you a fuck mm -hmm. my baby dad? Bitch, I don't care about no fucking her. Bitch, why would I come on your life and make Ari mad? She don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, you the last thing that I that her fuck that Ari give a fuck about. You the last bitch. You're nothing. Like you the bottom of a bitch no. shoe. Who finna get mad? Bitch, if anything, I'm gonna fucking be mad at her for fucking you. Who finna get mad at you? Bitch, you ain't shit on shit. And as you guys can see, all that time and energy was wasted into going back and forth when it proved nothing. But how to embarrass yourself on live. And Queen Ark should be ashamed of herself talking about her vagina smell. She bald-headed. She didn't have STD. Girl, if you don't cut that out and keep that to yourself. Like, like, let's not be fake, bro. Like... I know y'all like to get in between the beefs and shit. No hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, like, we're not going to lie, bro. We're not going to lie. 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 What cloud, bitch, you able to go sit in super face? Fuck you mean? What do you mean? I introduced you. Like, what do you say, girl? What, what do you mean, super what cloud? Shut, shut up, Michelle, shut up. All I got was negative, motherfuckers. Juicy, if you would never stop to this live and went live on your own, you would have had no viewers. Mm. You start sending me money. And listen, I am never know what's going to happen. She's coming over here. Hey, listen, why is she over here? Am I over there when y'all talking shit about me? No. My thing is this, right? We're not gonna lie, bitch. You threw me a bunch of money to become my friend to make Ari mad because you know I fuck with her. That's number one. Number two, bitch, I gave you clout, girl. Shut the fuck up. Would you release that dumb ass song that nobody danced to? Like Pretty Privilege? I got a million... Because you sitting here on Michael accusing Juicy Baby of trying to get clout off of you and you claiming all these things is going on with you. How's somebody gonna get any clout off of that? Please. And you claiming Juicy paid you money to befriend her so you can make her baby daddy mad. I hope she didn't pay you. And how you acting and what you saying going on with you, he probably is mad off of that though. So you know people had to talk. Especially after they saw that wretchedness and ghetto going on online. Someone said Shell in the back holding up one glass lens is killing me laughing crying emoji. But she's been using Shell for clout for years. I felt the energy through the phone is exhausting. Someone needs to create an Instagram just for the wretched baby mamas because we don't want to see them here crying emoji. Someone else said, period. I love how she handled this because us on these comments love starting to mix up. Laugh my A off. Gotta be honest. Crying emoji. Laugh my A off. Ari really somewhere minding her business. Laughing crying emoji. Sound like someone was trying to start something between them and she saying it ain't none. And lastly, one bag has been with Ari for over three years. Two, the lady is over 30 and three queen was her only friend okay folks moving right along if a lot of you been around you known about superhead and the things she's done and the relationship and marriages that have allegedly been broken up by her and her tell-all books and things but now she's pregnant by this chef who apparently doesn't want to claim the baby because she's up here crying a river because the man wants to see the sonogram of the baby and things so he can make sure it's accurately his with her history and everything. And right now she's saying she has a picture of the baby's sonogram but she don't want to send it to the daddy because she doesn't want to connect with the baby yet. I feel like this. If he's the father send it to him you ain't got to look at the details. And you don't have to come on here and show us and sit up there and try to embarrass and call that man out like that. Unless you're full of it. Says he wants to understand. Can you send me the sonogram and the doctor's reports that state you are at risk? And that's what I know. I kind of knew before because he's been trying to get me to say certain shit and do certain shit before where I, I know what his next move is going to be. I'm like, absolutely not. 
I'm not sending you shit. I'm not sending you medical records. First of all, I don't have I don't have my sonograms. <clears throat> I don't have them. I don't have I don't I didn't take them with me because again, I'm in this phase of and this is something I told him from the beginning. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to connect to it because we are in a precarious situation. If I reach a certain mark, then maybe I can start tapping in, but I cannot tap into something that may not survive. And I can't tap into something. I just can't, I can't tap into it right now. It's I'm still early yet. And I can't, tap. I just can't tap in. He knows that I discussed that. So I don't, I'm not taking printouts home and showing my family. I'm not doing that. It's very like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. So I don't want to, because I had the trauma from the last situation where I fell in love, named a baby, told my whole family, prepared as much as I could, and then felt forced to not go through with it. Um, So I'm dealing with that trauma. And I told Kwame this, I told Kwame that I was still dealing with a lot of trauma from that situation, which I've talked to him about, again, extensively. And she could allegedly be talking about the time she was supposed to have been pregnant from rotting me. From power. And she's stating all this to say that, but it's not really why she's stating it. She's stating it because she's finally got a dose of her own medicine. You cheating with people, men and stuff, and now somebody is with yours, your so-called baby daddy, Chef Kwame, who was at a game with another woman, and then she had the nerve to tag the other woman claiming she's going to be a stepmom. You were that hurt, huh? How do you think those wives felt when they found out their husbands were with you and your tell all? You stated, I'm delighted to announce at Chef uh, Tanaiji wants to be a stepmom to the baby at Chef Kwame Awachi. Sorry if I butchered y'all name. Happy to have you on board. I'll see the both of you this weekend to discuss the particulars. Hope y'all cooking. Then she wrote, baby daddy's so wild. Girl, he just showing you how wild you was when those married men wives were pregnant and read that mess. And then she writes, a high risk pregnancy is stressful unto itself without the blood and very public disrespect. I'm trying my best. I really am. And to make it so bash, everybody knows her by that name Karen Stefan or Stefan all these years that she had to get her name changed to Elizabeth Ovenson. And so he doesn't want to be connected to her so bad that he had his attorney send her a cease and desist letter in which he doesn't want her to talk about the pregnancy or anything to do with him. I got a cease and desist letter yesterday. Demanding that I don't talk about this. But if there's one thing that I know about truth is that I, I am well within my right to discuss my experiences. Um, so I'm going to discuss them. The cease and desist letter I got yesterday was from uh, attorneys representing Kwame Unuwachi. And it's full of bullshit. And I know, and I know where they got their, of course, they got their information from him. And the clip is longer, but I just want to show the cease and desist. This is, and this is what some people had to say. Someone said, if you don't want these problems with condoms, her career has been based on this very thing with me and LOL. If you're going to play with fire anyway, at least wear a condom. As much as I love Kwame from Top Shelf, he made his bed. I mean, she opted to start off petty and it's surprised her energy is being matched. I watched the whole thing. It's really sad. She'll never escape her past reputation on organic if she trying to, but she has done a lot since then and is very intelligent and has meaningful conversations on her podcast. I hope she gets through this with healing and light. Really, formerly known as hashtag superhead, aka the woman that gave Bill Mayer clout to think that he could say the n-word on live tv like it's gravy i'm confused are y'all together or not i mean if he doesn't want anything to do with you you can't force him no matter how much, much you so-called put him on blast at this point you look like the problem ma'am and lastly the only thing that has changed about her over time is her name she's just as messy as she was back in her video vixen days and it's always them that do it to her well, yeah there you have it folks i 
feel that you can't change your past, but you could just live for the future. I mean, your past going to always be your past, and some people are going to judge you by, and then others will continue to, you know, be encouraged by the new you. Well, folks, tell me what you think about her getting a little bit of the stuff that she dished out to other people, and by her doing that and being known as Superhead, hashtag Superhead all this time, that when she does want to get into a relationship with love involved, that no one no one really wants to deal with her. No man really wants to have a baby with her or be connected to her, but they want to do these things with her. Tell me what you think down in the comments below, guys. This is all I have for you guys right now at the moment. Subscribe to the channel for more updates and give me a thumb up. Share. Turn on your post notifications so you will know when the next time I upload. And I'll talk to you guys sooner than later.